Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and this is uh, concerning a question somebody asked about um, some space that could be, of course, available on a hard drive, and that uh, is there a way in Windows to actually get more space um, available, because um, as he says, he doesn't want to install any third-party apps like cleaners and stuff like that, especially He's also in the same minding that they are useless and do not need any. Uh, you don't not, do not need any third party software for that. Uh, but his question, of course, is uh, if I don't install a third party software to clean up, is there a cleanup available in the um, Windows 11 environment? And yes, there is. When you go to the Settings app, you will see that in the Settings app. In the uh, system tab, you will have storage. And the storage is going to give you an idea of what takes all the space on the hard drive that you have. So if that is the case, and maybe you're some, I still have a lot of space left here, but maybe you have a much smaller SSD, for example, and you're wondering, okay, what takes all the space? Here you'll have an overview of what can be removed. Now, notice one thing here, there's temporary files, and it says that they are taking 22 gigabytes, which is a huge chunk of space. So you have the temporary files that are always pretty safe to remove, but you also can click cleanup recommendations. And when you click here, it's gonna tell you, here are files that I have that might not be um, useful anymore. One particularly here is previous Windows installations. I still have I still have 16.8 gigabytes of files on previous installations. And now that might not be needed anymore, especially if it's something left like when you moved on from Windows 10, Windows 11. Um, the old files can now be removed if everything seems all right. So you can put a check mark there and says, oh. You're going to clean up here 16 gigabytes. Of course, the downloads folder, I got 7.6 gigabytes. Now, depending on how you treat your download folder, it could be a good idea or not. Of course, the recycle bin is another place to check out. But in the cleanup recommendation, there's also things that you might consider. And in the storage, of course, we are looking at what's in here. In my case, documents, I don't really want to touch anything there, but installed apps, 26 gigabytes. You can click here and see what are the apps that are using the most space. And so you can sort by and go to size, large to small on the upper right. And here you'll see what takes the most space on your PC and uninstall whatever you don't want. For example, my Windows subsystem for Android is useless on this machine. I can go here and click the uninstall button. This will uninstall. And it's going to give me another gigabyte that I might want to have. And so go through all the apps that you have and just remove what you don't use, what you don't need anymore. For example, here, performance test. I don't want that anymore. You can click the uninstall button and remove this from your PC, and so on. And, you know, just remove everything that is useless to you and get that space back, um, basically. So it's, of course, um, a lot of uh, little things that you can check out. And once again, um, in the storage, if you have, you know, you can remove temporary files um, by clicking here, for example, so previous Windows installations here, delivery optimization, uh, optimization files here. It also will suggest stuff that you might want. Here, I will put the recycle bin here. Um, and let's say I'm gonna leave it like that for my type of install and what I wanna do. Once you have chosen what you have uh, in here, you just go and click the remove files and this will actually remove all the things that you've checked here. And you'll claim that space back. So there's many ways to get some space back on your PC when 
you are really tight. And sometimes it could be very surprising where you can actually go and get these, um, that cleanup, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.